مدحونا بنت الان عبد الولي محمد علي قاص يا شيقينا وحشيسا لقا قارين كولان اسعودي اساقا ايو وكيل كاحوغيها قرامدة مدوبي اقابل سان سوماليا مستر مايكل كيتين وحانا الى بدا مسؤول شو ذا تشيرا شير تشيرا ايدو قبتين حارونتا مدحتو يدا ايو لوغا احرميو بنت الان هذا ما هو حاور بحين تاني نوصو دري وريا هيقا سعيد صونا وحا شرفنا وينو امانتا ان هالكان كسو قوتينو وفتقي بلارنا وهو قامنا يي وكيل كحويها قودة غرامة ذا مدوبي أمراش ترماك الكيتن إيوه أمراش ترادي كلا يدون ما سينتي كلا إلا السعودي نوغي يمد بيش عالم كا أنا يميد إنا وحكا أوغادان موقف كا دولة دبوتلان كو آدن مستقبل كا الصوماليا كو آدن قيد سعود كا نمد الصوماليين كو آدن دور شوين كا دعي دونا لوكن يلحية طبعا إيه جو أمدي كصوب حي دولة فدرال كا أين تاجرتي دولة بيش عالمكو موقف كدولة بوتلان مر ولا بوح كتر جمعي هبتان كشعب كبوتلان صار رجل علينا تحسيه وحنا نومين جي جي نمشى وحنا نوشك نبيش عالمكا إن جو أنك بوتلان وكاها طبعا وحوي ما ذا مركا إنا لا أركان هبتان كشعب كبوتلان وحوي هاي وحنا فرصة وهلان إن أي لكل مان غيبا كلا دون إبل شدة سيدا إن إن مدحنا قامت كا يسمدا إن ورد إبل شدة أمس إن إبل شدة ريت كا البرلمان كا سياسيين بطلان يدور ده إنت هو لكل مان عنسلا إن هاي إن كفلان أركتة بطلان وي أركان ده كا حلي أما أي لكل مانا وهاي عندك ترجمي كري ربيتان كشعب جبوتلان يوحي كغبان طبعا هذا وحشي سو لقاري ما شرته لكن وحان سكاف قرني إن أنا أي دي بسوق لابتان أنا جونا أنسي ودنه وده هذا الكي يجي وده حاجات كي يجي كنا ده ده له دمانت يو بس عالم كي جبوتلان بقى إن لسو سو لابتو كبعدنا لوس خرلوس وده أجندها سوماليات لقانا شقي يوسي سوماليا لخرل لوجو مري لها سيد سوماليا أيو قاري لهاي نبض وارته يهور مري الديمقراطية نظام في عنو تاجر سين كرنا لسو أفق عنو الله إن شاء الله بحرشين إن أمريكا إن سو سلامات كدم به إن يعني و يعني خرلوسي أم بقاضو مش هاد أن شو نخرلوسي سعده وحرجينا يا إن شاء الله بس أفكر إن كل ما عندهم تبرك ودم بيسه كرسوا بيحدون تقول بذلن يا سوماري أنت بقى هذه أدب ما سنتي. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I am delighted to be here with colleagues from the international community, as the President has said. We have ambassadors and representatives. From the African Union, from EGAD, Ethiopia, Kenya, Italy, Sweden, the United Kingdom, the European Union, and the United States of America, and Uganda. This is a very uh, broad ranging group of people, and their presence uh, is evidence of the respect that they have for Puntland and the importance of Puntland in Somalia's federal project uh, and the importance we attach to coming and listening to the views of Puntlanders. As the President has said, we have met many people, including from civil society, uh, elders, uh, parliamentarians, leaders of the opposition, as well as in the government, and we're very grateful for the invitation, and we are very impressed by what we have heard. We're impressed by how articulate and clear the views have been. Uh, we've received a number of uh, documents in writing, and we will be leaving Puntland with a much deeper understanding of the perspective of people here about the future of Somalia, about the future <coughs> of Puntland, and about uh, the, uh, the expectations 
often landers for their own future. I would say that many of the views we've heard fall into two areas. One is regarding the decision by the federal government to support uh, an electoral model in September this year that is still based on the 4.5 formula. And the second set of views has been about the relationship of Puntland with the federal government. Um, on the former issue, we share concerns that this model is imperfect, that it does not represent Somalia honoring the commitments it made to itself, and that the international community also uh, wanted to support many years ago that Somalia would move away from 4.5. We recognize that, but we believe it still may be the least bad of the options before us, and we're very concerned that a delay in the elections in 2016 could be very bad news for Somalia. There are many countries around the world that delay their elections, and this has a very negative effect, uh, both in terms of security, in terms of the international community's ability uh, to continue to provide economic support, uh, political support, as well as, indeed, security support. So while there are clearly differences of view, this exchange, uh, this, our presence here listening to people has enriched our understanding, and we will now go back to Mogadishu, back to our headquarters and capitals, and look further forward to a further discussion on these matters to move forward. But we do believe that these elections, fairly and transparently conducted, do offer a way out of 4.5, particularly if they're followed up by decisive actions quickly to improve the relationship between the federal government and the regions. And that was the second area. We heard views about the Constitution, about the national security architecture, uh, about resource sharing, and about the status uh, of uh, the federal capital. And these we take very seriously, and we know that the federal government is also taking these issues seriously. So we as the international community look forward to uh, working with the federal government, working with the government of Puntland in the coming weeks and months to see how we can support decisive progress in moving these issues forward in a way that builds upon the progress that has already been made in the last few years and builds a higher level of understanding and trust so that we can all move forward to a peaceful and prosperous Somalia. Uh, Mr. President, I just want to end by thanking you and your colleagues. We have a deeper appreciation of the expectations of your people on you and of, uh, on, your, on your government. Uh, and we are so grateful for your hospitality uh, and for making this trip possible. And we're looking forward very much uh, to coming back in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank you.